there, partner. Boom. Okay. We are back. Um, we're here again with the one and only Josh Landers. Pleasure to be back, Jim. Pleasure to be back. Um, the pleasure's mine, sir. The pleasure's mine. Um, so I just wanted to jump into it. My day was just ruined in the last hour. Uh Whoa. not, not stuff at work. I know. Starting. Oh my god, I forgot to hit record. Ah. Okay, so, so okay, sorry, we're here with Josh Landers. I forgot to hit record on one device. We're recording now. I just said my day's ruined in the last hour, and that is because I found out the Liver King's not natty, bro. Oh, my God. Talk about being late to the party. Late? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, he was just on those good, uh, good liver, good kidney, just eating the animals, bro. Living by his nine pillars. There was nothing nothing fishy about it. Nah, a picture of Juice Head next to him in the dictionary. <laughs> I saw it from the jump. His mis- his muscles were different. Bro, he's huge. Um, no, but I really did just get the official clarification. Do you know who uh Derek from More Plates, More Dates is? Rogan talks about him all the time. He's the guy that goes over like the natty or knots and like that sort of thing. Okay, um, okay, yeah, it's ringing a bell. Right, but he just got his hands on the Liver King's blood work and he just fucking ripped them to shreds. Like, oh no! <laughs> I got it, my Wait, king. didn't the Liver King do something where he only ate raw steak? Right. So is it's, that what it was? It was raw. Uh, no, no, no. It's raw liver, heart, kidney. It's like uh, like the organ meat of animal. And then, or so he said, that's all he was eating. But then uh, the organ meat, not the liver, though, right? Oh, that the liver is the most nutritious. Isn't that all the junk? Isn't, that, isn't your liver just like cleaning out the junk and toxins of your fucking system? I, I see you're still on the food pyramid of like the early thousands, brother. No, I, I don't know. You're gonna have to tell me. I you call me. I uneducated. mean, I uneducated, uneducated, and humble, and ready to learn. I no yeah, I can just repeat things, and I know <laughs> that supposedly liver is like the most healthy thing for you. Um, that apparently my- that's what my dad. Yeah, that's what my dad grew up eating. My grandma used to make brains and livers, and that was like a normal dinner. Isn't it crazy and- though how that? Tongue. That's a delicacy uh, exactly elsewhere. Tongue, like most people would not touch it, but like as soon as you peel back that like tonguey layer, it's just Oof. pure meat. Oh, it's so good. Lingua. No, the, yeah, there's a Carnegie's Deli in New York City. Hmm. Have you ever heard of it? Pretty uh, famous. I think there was a, a murder associated with it geez. at some point, but like fa- pictures of all the most famous people you've ever met on the wall there and just sandwiches like like we're talking forearm length height like a, the, maybe like, a like or like maybe like a your full hand from from the very bottom of your palm to the very tip of the top high That's high That's... yeah all meat all meat just stacked pastrami sandwich that high that is crazy. Oh, God. That's like 10 inches. Not that I know the size of my hand. Uh, Jamie, pull up a picture. This shit is crazy, but hey, not oh. that I know the size of my hand. <laughs> but for real, Jamie pulled things up. Speaking of, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. The boy was featured on the old JRE. <laughs> yeah, he was, Jim. Uh, <laughs> the man, what a moment, dude. I know. What a uh, moment. I mean, they not like they even said my name or anything. They pulled up my profile, and I was like, "That's my picture. That's my tweet. That's good enough for me." As long as I know, I don't really give a shit. Do I get the backstory on the tweet? So, what was the tweet, and then oh, what were they mean, talking about on the episode? I think it, uh, it was the Stevo episode, but they were uh, talking about like deviated septums and stuff. Do you have a deviated septum? I feel like you've been fucking 
hit in the face a whole hell of a lot. I don't know why. Dude, yeah, I got fucking... I have a mark on my fucking face right now, yeah. I don't know what a deviated septum is, but sometimes my left nostril, if I had to rely on my left nostril to breathe for me, I might die. Yeah, okay, so you probably have it. I'm pretty sure it's like the piece in the middle that connects the nostrils, like breaks, and then it clogs over... Like oh, one no. of your, it's super hard to breathe. Um, and like the more Whoa. you get, what? That's crazy? interesting. Yeah, pretty crazy. It's, it's like crazy, it's, but I'm thinking that's probably what I have. Oh yeah, like it's super common for like uh, fighters or just people that have gotten touched up in the face. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure in football, doing like no pad shit, like you've gotten hit in the face and stuff plenty of times. Um, yeah, the alumni game. We got to touch on that in a sec. Um, right. But so they were just talking about like deviated septums and shit, him and Steve O. And uh, as you know, I used to listen to a bunch of the old JREs. I was trying to play the catch up game, but it just became way too much. But uh, mm-hmm. he posted a picture of like a, it was like a blood booger that was like a nickel big and it got stuck up his nose, I guess. And so I just posted a picture of it. And they were looking for it and happened to stumble upon my tweet where I posted it. I was like, wow. So really a nothing deal. I mean, but still six. I've been listening for years. I was like, wow, that's pulled up by young. It's the, biggest, it's the biggest show in the world. Right? I, the I'll throw it on the world. I mean, I don't, people, people don't need wild, to know. Baby. Capacity. Mm-hmm. Um, the fame right there. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, so that that was that. Uh, and what were we talking about before? Fuck. A deviated old. septum. We were talking about deviated septum, and then I think before that, we were talking about you were gonna Jamie some shit about wow Carnegie's Deli with the with the sandwiches. Speaking of uh, meat, <clears throat> I forget. We were talking about Liver King. I don't know. It doesn't fucking matter. Speaking of meat, nah. well, on me. No. He said what? Jesus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um speaking of me uh i don't know just to be honest i was just trying to make little brian callen little like little that. little sexual uh, innuendo I, I i shot my shot i swung and i accidentally fell right into it so it worked out um how did the alumni game so the alumni game was cool there was like 12 of us or maybe like 15. There was like 15 of us. So Rush mostly... did three. They let it. A lot of young guys. Guys that didn't know their name. And now. But some... why, why do you think people stop showing up to. Uh, the alumni game. They used to be like huge. It used to be like. 30 people like running shifts. You know what I mean? It's simple Jim. It's like. People stopped showing up because people started to show up. Uh-huh. You know? Could have said it better, yes. I know the great above uh, me, that's the exact situation they were in. They were like, I don't want to well, fucking share play. I'm like, it's the alumni. And they game. took away the J V game. They took away the J V game. So really? It's like there's no no, there's no J V game. So now we don't even get our runs. Why is that? You know, that I used no to play sense. the JV game. I was like, I just want to play the whole game. I don't care about you guys, like whatever. But this Mr. WG Mal- team had some potential. They had their front court was really good. They had a kid that could handle the ball a little bit, but he'll probably get ate up. But they were big and physical, and really? pretty much, yeah, they were big and physical. So wow, I have to tell the story, even though I'm not on the great end of it. There was this kid right before the game. I'm like, oh, what's up, man? I got some garden you. He was a sophomore. I mean, you a senior? And he was like, no, nah, I'm a sophomore. This kid was hella big. I think he was from, like, New York. Like, this kid was different. But anyway, he, he couldn't really play that much. But, but yeah, anyway, long, long story short, he comes down the court. He fucking gets an offensive – shot goes up. He gets an offensive rebound, puts it back in. Comes down the other time. They give it to him. He drives, puts a shoulder into me, like a clean shoulder, like little boys me. And fucking lays it up and says, yeah, get little boy. Like, Shut up. It. Yeah. And I was like, he's oh, so right. It was the perfect bro, time to say it. You got to respect it. it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. The, I, that was a perfectly timed. It was so accurate. He, he got he me good. Something like that. 
Too I think he did. I think he did. This guy had a mustache. He's fucking 14. He's 12. Honestly, Dude. I'm gonna say it. Let's uh let's go fight this guy. Fuck that. Jim, I'm not getting in another fight the rest of my life. That is my 100% intention. There's been enough fighting going on. I totally forgot about that. Um, should we jump right into that? How? Well, let's yeah, start. I, at the so that was the start of your Wednesday night. Um, so let's talk about Thanksgiving. We we did the plate thing. So I'd like to follow up on on your plate. Are you were you happy with your gravyless mashed potatoes and? Did you do the sandwiches again this year? Honestly, the sandwiches got kind of left in the dust this year. There wasn't as many leftovers as I had thought there was going to be. Um, uh, same. There wasn't even enough food, and I hate to be the guy to say that. And maybe it's because my vegan ass just isn't eating the turkey. But oh, I, forget I was like, we, 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 we ran, yeah, whatever. We ran out of mashed potatoes, which is something that should never, ever ever happened on thanksgiving and like yeah. i didn't want to i didn't want to ask is like i didn't want to ask like wait, is there more somewhere like i because if there's not you're just an ungrateful like little shit on thanksgiving exactly. i was like oh uh, okay cool yeah no the mashed potato like it's mashed potatoes and i feel like stuffing and gravy like turkey you can run out of people will see past that you can fill up on other stuff but Without those two, maybe three, it's kind of a tough sell to have as a holiday. Mm -hmm. Really doesn't like I can get together with my family anytime. Like right. I'm here for food. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be a so, dick, like you said, but so how did your weekend start? What did you do on Wednesday? Did you hit goose? Honestly, I these last month and a half, I've been sicker than I've ever life. Holy not, shit. Not like I went from being super healthy and doing a bunch of jujitsu to having to take weeks off at a time. Um, so I guess we'll start freaking three weeks ago. I have La Villa and I'm eating it. And like it's he Malvini spitting that shit, bro. I, I got a chicken parm sandwich. Never done it before. But I'm pretty sure it was just raw ass chicken in there. And I like told myself like it's La Villa. Be raw. Yep. Done me dirty before. Why would they know? So I ate it and it was one of those where you like bite into it and your teeth like sink in and have to like really bro. It was gross. Like eating it, I knew it was bad, but I still did it. You ate and, the whole thing? Uh, ate the whole whole thing. Uh, I left a couple <laughs> bites. <laughs> It's the villa. I paid the money for that. No, exactly. And you can't go back. I mean, exactly. I mean, you could have. Well, of course, you could have. Should have. Yeah. I really should have, because it was yeah. that like set everything up. My stomach hasn't been right since. It was throwing up, shitting my brains out. So, are we doing uh, a flush? Well, that's what we got to see. So then, the probably two <laughs> days later, La Vic. My other home sweet home, I eat it <laughs> once a week. Fucking backfired. Never had a law vic issue before. All of a sudden, how did it backfire? Well, just your boy got the runs. You know, oh, I thought that's why you did it. That's why I was laughing. I thought oh, you were oh, no. to, <laughs> thought you were like, all right, I gotta shit all oh. this out. Like, I gotta get these toxins out. <laughs> you know, it'll do the trick. Fuck, it's fuck a laxative. Let me just take the fucking. San Jose be, laxative. Right? Should I've had many run-ins with it, but it usually <laughs> it's no pun style. intended, my boy. You're so good with you're so nice with it. All right. It's Go not ahead. a first. <laughs> um but yeah, same thing. Run run central station, just poo in my pants. It was horrible. And then come Wednesday night, it's probably been two weeks later. I go to Jake's. Get a cheese pizza, extra cheese. Shout out Mitch Cunningham. My guy. Uh, That's actually the order? 100%. Cheese pizza, extra cheese. Not all the time. I usually get chicken Caesar wraps. But, That's my good. Um, but I washed it down with like four Cokes, five Cokes, as, as a man does. And uh, go to Goose Town, have one beer. 
get the face sweats worse than I've ever had. Starts getting to the back of the throat. Pale. Pale as hell. Everyone was looking at me. I could like it was one of those where I like, I could feel the heat and feel everyone like staring at me. Well, I I thought. Um so I leave to go get my car because I was it was parked at my I was like, fuck this. I'm gonna just gonna get my car, get some fresh air, I'll come back. Yacked pretty much the whole way to Willow Park from Goosetown. Like oh my you kept the the whole time though. It it Whoa. was like yeah, like I couldn't like make it into like bushes or any like throwing up in the middle of the street, like sidewalks, like couldn't hold it in. It was the weirdest thing ever. But as wow. soon as I, got- I know if you could, you would. Oh, I would have, yes. Um, but as soon as it was out, I felt like almost immediately better, but it was still just like so gross, you know what I mean? Like yakking. So I fucking went home hella early. Nice. But uh yeah, where did what did you who's guys it, end up? Doing? Who was that goose town though? Uh legends only. Was it legends only? It was it was pretty good. Well, if, when I walk in, little X is sitting at the bar. So no. that was a great start. So I saw him. Yeah. And then uh Jay ended up coming. Todd, Mark, Mitch, Mikey oh, Tick, Jay Gold. JB didn't end up going, but Tuck. Yeah, it was a good crew. That's why I was like kind of pissed off. I was like, shit, this would have been fun, but I know. I almost pulled up there too. But we played in the alumni game Wednesday night, and then after that we went over to Chell's, hosted a little backyard. Whatever. His place is sick. You got the whole it's outside. Sick, wall. dude. Heaters. Like, I'm not talking cigarettes. But you did have one, eh? Uh I didn't. I didn't. Those days are past me. I left those days in Sevilla and in, the, and in the sesh room a little bit. But I was never <laughs> much of like a rip a heater guy. You know me. I, was just, time. I was just Mr. Mokes. Shout out Mr. Mokes. But... October's very young. <laughs> but yeah, so we ended up there and then we ended up going to Los Gatos to one Broadway. Um, no shower after the alumni game. I'm like that. Um, Ruff, come on. Oh no! Actually, no, no, no! Hold up, hold up. It's your life. Revise. Let me re- let me oh, revise. Lying. No, let me revise. That. No shower just... after the game at Mitch's, but then I went I went back to Allison's and I took a shower before going out to Los Gatos. Brought Brennan That's... with me. How was that? I'm just gonna keep going with my story, <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and say I went. To, he went to the uh, the cats. Oh no! Actually, he called an Uber for both of us to one Broadway. And then added a stop to to the cats. So that's the man gave me a run. That's in Los Gatos. Oh, okay. And that's that's just on the way to 17, right? If you take Broadway all the way down and hit 17. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just make sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you guys get in the Uber. You go there. You get in the Uber. We have a cool little night. I wasn't even really in the mood to be like out really. Couldn't really say I was. I didn't I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't really I was like running into people. Pierce was there. Pepper Pierce. McMahon? Is that his last name? I don't know. Who's Pierce? Like KB's friend Pierce? Yeah. Yeah, Pierce McMahon. Yeah. Okay. He was there, so that was cool. Yeah, um, I have him. He uh he's like one of those sleeper guys that doesn't show up all the time, but like when he does, always a pleasure. Exactly. So that was cool. Kenny was out there doing his thing, everyone was there. And then I'm leaving and I call my Uber and I Look outside and fucking Dante's at the corner talking to CJ Butcher, him and like Alex and his girl and everyone's going into the Uber. They're saying bye to each other. And I'm like, oh, shit, just missed them. But then I was like, is that CJ Butcher? And I go down and, you know, CJ spent many a nights with no ride home back to Los Gatos, (laughs) just came straight back to the sesh room. And we would just smoke for hours. One of my best buds from the DMs of days, for sure. He was and, the best, but like you said, had no transportation. Right. So, <laughs> I love CJ. It was my ass giving him a ride home fucking seven out of ten times. Willfully. I, I mean, I love the kid. Gladly right. did it. It was still. Definitely a good ride. You're definitely a good, good person to be sitting shotgun, crack out, a lot of energy. That guy was wound up. I liked it. But 
And you know, CJ, he's never one to back down from a fight, right? From anyone. Despite he's... being the shortest guy in the room. Yes. Some would say Napoleon Complex. Some would say. <laughs> but it's, it's a reserved. It's reserved, but it's in there. He's a dog, and he's going to bite you. And so, anyway, I'm sitting there. We're catching up for me. Two minutes. What's up, man? What's up, man? Yada, yada. And then coming out of the bar, this guy is, like, grabbing his girl, like, by the arm, like, pulling her like and she's like resisting like being like get off me yada yada and then he fucking like pulls her arm over her head and he pushes her in the back and me and cj were probably like 200 feet away from whatever and we're just down in the corner we're like whoa like gave him a loud whoa and started walking over there you know and the girl's like looking at us like like help me type shit and then so well we walked all the way over there and so that's what we did we we were we're kind of invested at that point. <laughs> so we get down there, and then the guy that was doing it just turns around, and he's like, what? What are you going to do? What? And, he, and him and five of his friends all turn around. It's like, what is this? What? And so then it was like at the point where it's like, did you guys just like, it was like the question, what? Like, are you guys going to turn your guys' ass around, or what's happening? And CJ's like, so he's like, you don't fucking hit the girl or whatever. He's like, what? You want to go? Like, and CJ gives him a hard push to the chest. And uh. as, soon as, as soon as CJ gives him the hard push to the chest, I was like, I'm, I swung. I just fucking well, swung. I, have I fucking swung the first punch of the whole fucking fight, and I hit the guy's friend right in the fucking face. Hand still hurts. Good shot. Didn't drop him, but it was a good shot. And then the brawl was on. CJ goes for a fucking takedown. Gets, Does he know gets, you don't have the numbers? You can't take We down? do not have numbers. Oh. So, and I would love your perspective on this. We could go one step at a time. But So first there was the first punch. So now it's fucking on. Like as soon as that happened, everyone's, the lights are on. It's like, oh, this is fucking happening. CJ goes for the takedown. And now they're, all, CJ's in not in a good position. Like north, south, two or three guys all over him. Fucking He's whatever. On He's on bottom yes. of the north, south. On bottom of the north south, chest to the ground. And he like, tried... uh, CJ did jujitsu for a little bit, so I'm sure he's he? way overconfident. Yes. Well he was but even jujitsu guys will tell you that might not be the best place to fucking pull guard. You never <laughs> go to the ground in a street fight. That's like rule right. number one, you run. I and I know you're right, captain exactly. open right now. So I get I, it. I you're definitely just... was captain save <laughs> <laughs> there's so there's no i get what you're doing there's no so running. Well, if we're gonna do the full breakdown all right we gotta do the full breakdown so step one did i all right should i have just minded my business and stayed you have to Jeez, hope she's all right. yeah you have to walk over assess assess the Let's situation see what's up. yeah because that's you all my intention was. I didn't go over there thinking it's time to fight. I really did not. I just you went over there just felt, though, if you didn't go over there and like that's just your mind all night being the, like the problem what? is the girl gave 50 50. She gave 50 50 signs. Like it was like going over there to assess, like, are you all right? And it wasn't like a hard yes at all, you know. And see, that's the other thing. That could be something they just do, and it's like exactly. I get it. <laughs> That in public because obviously it's given the wrong message to everybody around. Exactly. Um, I so, think you guys did the right thing first off going over there. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if step two was the correct. Was the move. punch uncalled for? The push was uncalled for. It starts with CJ. You don't. You weren't gonna. He, he, CJ was put in the most classic of all classic. What are you gonna do? Moments like, like. Like, are you a bitch or are you a fighter moment? And CJ already knows the answer to that. Like, he knew what he had to do. And that's fair. But, but I wish he would have hit him. That's what I mean. If you're going to do it, you have to hit him. You have to take the chance at handicapping them somehow, taking one guy out at the start. Especially if you don't have numbers, you better fucking pretend to walk away and then fucking hit him with a spinning back fist or some shit. Something that's oh, gonna that would have been so good if I was like, CJ, let's go. Boom! Oh, so, right. What's up? CJ would have been smell you. But, but also, you don't... Go on with the story, sorry. I, I, I no, kinda... I mean, you please, no, jump in the whole time because it, it's... Obviously, we love the UFC, we love fighting, and we love right. the topic, so it's like one of those things like, 
once that was on and it was on and CJ was down and it was just me looking at a couple of guys and the one guy was way more mad at me than I was mad at him. And I was like, oh, fuck. All right, we're fighting. <laughs> and we both just like we're standing there with our hands up a little bit. Some thr- some punches were thrown or whatever. But then I see CJ on the ground getting fucking jumped. Right. And I feel in a fight, if you're fighting with someone else, if one guy's getting jumped, the other guy's got to go and try and help that guy up. Right, it's just so now you got two guys back in the fight type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that's and and I just pulling guard unless you want to have pulling guard exactly. I know, I know know what you mean though. (laughs) Hands on him and try to take it to the ground. Yeah, (laughs) but you just uh, don't. You can't. It's creating distance. Come on, Siege. Come on. Exactly, and that's what I was doing. I was just trying to create distance. I wasn't even really trying to throw blows like that but i was just trying to protect myself whatever and now i'm going in trying to the guy's got such a dominant position on cj like it's hard to pull him off it's not like he's standing over him it's like he's like 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 back triangle type shit oh shit like maybe not fully locked in but like top mount from the top mount from the back like in grappling form not even in punch form you know so he was, uh, was face down yes Oh shit! Not even yeah. trying to play my boy CJ like that on the pod. No, like, no, no, no. Yeah. That's, that's a fight. That's it. Should happens. I just right. I, I want to get the position down. And so I'm he, yanking was, on this guy. Yeah, and I'm yanking on this guy. I'm yanking on this guy. Will not fucking come off at all. And I'm just taking shots to the head. Just fucking now, yanking, yanking. Did you cross your mind to just fucking go in and just two foot kick this guy in the fucking dome. Just like a running jump <laughs> kick, because that's where my mind goes. There was no time. angle on that shit. I don't think. Like uh, okay. maybe, so but then I, like a soccer I'd end kick up on my back too. Feet. I want to stay on my yeah. feet. Exactly. I'm not sacrificing yeah, yeah. my. I'm not sacrificing my feet. But I should have probably just taken care of the first guy that I punched, finished the job. You know, assert a little yeah. bit of dominance. I could have asserted a way more dominance in that fight. I was more just concerned about fucking. Were you guys CD, like we sent the message as we did yes we did that and i was like all right at this point like when i get to that point that's when my like logic brain just steps in it's like all right let's stop like the right. fight happened like the fight happened like for me once i threw the first punch like that fucking happened now let's fucking get out and it's a fucking dub like but it was a <laughs> no, rough one like it, it was a real fight like there was it was fucking blows being thrown you know yeah. Yeah. I mean, with that many guys, and they're coming from all over the place. There's no like, no way to stop five guys. Um, yeah. Are you shit talking this whole time? Are you fucking during the like, fight? No, nah, I don't really have that switch in me, bro. I really don't. I I don't believe I do. Like, I I believe I have the athletic IQ and just the natural ability to like kind of protect myself and keep myself out of harm's way more or less you know but like when it comes to like really wanting to hurt someone like i just i don't know if i got it in me i think the blood went thin jim i see i think that's where we differ i think that's why i can't get in fights because i feel like the blood would not run thin right the blood like, you're like once it starts thin. now it's not ending until i'm beating your face and you submit to exactly. me. like i didn't make right. anyone submit to me but i fucking sent a clear message to the fucking douchebag's friend for sure fuck yeah um so how did it end off i mean did the guy just end up getting off siege or did you pull yeah like i kind of just pulled him off siege and like these guys weren't really 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 about it you know like necessarily. Yeah, yeah. it was like so i pulled up siege and then it's like whatever they were they were all talking shit i was like siege we're out we're out we're out you know just trying to end it so, it could have kept it. going we could have stood up and then i could have went boom son right um and now did <laughs> CJ, was cj talking shit when he got up CJ was like talking shit when he got up. I like, I love that. That kid's yeah. got to fight him. I was like, got it's him. over, man. We did what we had to do, bro. We fucking did what we had to. And then we were walking, and we just both like laughed, gave a big old outburst of laugh and just a big old dap up and a hug. We were like, that was awesome. That was That's what we the night before Thanksgiving's for. Yeah, that that won the night for us. That carried the night for us for sure. And then we just like texted in our Ubers. Our Ubers were already called. CJ got oh, right in his Uber. Nice. <laughs> CJ yeah, got how right would you in his Uber. If you, were, if you were the Uber guy that had to watch the last <laughs> minute of that dust up and then the, the guy on the bottom. get out in a great mood, though. Yeah. That's the best part. That's the best part about this whole thing is that the 
the wackest part about fighting is the grown men like losing control of their temper like they're fourth graders on a soccer field or some shit you know what i mean where it's like that's the um, part where you like where you're mad no you're mad bro like why are you exactly. mad like you're a grown-ass well, man you're mad like make a decision that, but be happy about it you know what i mean a hundred percent um I think in Washington and Oregon, they still have mutual combat laws where if two guys like decide they want to square up, you can call the police and the police will just like not ref it, but pretty much just make sure no one jumps in and like nothing gets too crazy. There's no finish up blows, but like you can just fucking fight another guy. That's sick. That's sick. I Uh, thought you were going to say if you like kill the person accidentally, uh, like you're good because it was mutual combat. I that is part of it though i'm pretty sure like yeah. like i think it's like a reduced charge for sure because that's i mean obviously the biggest fear is fucking hitting someone obviously who knows how good you are most of the time you're probably gonna get your ass kicked mm-hmm. um but you you hit the guy one time and he falls and hits his head dies mm-hmm. like that's your life it's a wrap um stupid what look i'm flying oh, i'm dead idiot is that uh yes dude what is that from the the first part was the movie quote from uh what's it called uh wedding crashers will will ferrell's character ma the meatloaf i haven't seen that in so long i mean i know funerals now yeah funerals yeah funerals man chicks are super horny I'm going to one today. Her husband died in a paragliding accident. Hey, look, take a picture. I'm flying. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, idiot. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> hey, hey, you're coming with, bro. You're coming with. I love how you had to do the whole scene for the, the one line. I got it, though. You nailed it. Facts, um, thank you. I, I did the same thing earlier today at work. With the same yeah. line, now I feel a little less special. Because this guy, like, no, not with the same line. It was Remember Titans, but I had to finish the whole fucking scene. <laughs> Most overrated movie in movie history. No because way, dude. It that is movie, Disney as fuck, but... Exactly. From the start, I could have told you exactly how it was going to end. The only surprise no there way. was... The you, knew, you knew fucking Bertier was going to end up in a wheelchair? That's the only surprise, and they do that. Okay, just, let, me, just, let me ask you this. Who did you think was going to score the winning touchdown? Okay, I'm not talking like that. No, no, who, did, who, who, did, who could have expected it was Rev with the broken I'm, wrist? I'm saying I would have expected the white people and the black people on a high school football team to come together and win games. That's what I'm saying. That's the All whole right. plot. Well, that's, based on a true story, or at least inspired by. So that's like saying Sandlot is. They're all <laughs> based on a true story. Of course, a couple kids fucking hit a ball into a fence. <laughs> Jim, can I ask you this? Did you ever play stickball? New York 1950s Brooklyn I stickball. Saying, no, I grew up on the West Coast in the thousands, so we played wiffle ball. Mm. Have you ever played mm. stickball? I've never played stickball, but I heard my I heard my grandpa used to play it. I feel like uh, you have to have such good hand eye to play stickball. It's like playing with with one of those shitty yellow bats, but like with the smaller balls. Exactly. And did you see the Willie Mays documentary? I don't think I have. It just came out. New Willie Mays documentary. I couldn't watch the whole thing because it was boring as shit. But (laughs) 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 But he's a legend, so I had to pay my respects. I'll finish it one day, you know, when I'm old like him. Um, is he old god he's old what what is what's on what i don't know maybe maybe hbo max maybe hbo max sounds like something they have um well i wanted to ask one more question about the fight um yeah what are the odds that you just pissed that guy off more and he just went home and beat the living tar out of his girlfriend dude there's a real chance of that for sure but I didn't even finish the story because I'm waiting That's there it. for my I'm waiting there for my Uber, and then Tell they're, they're standing Uber with you. They're standing on the same corner waiting for their Uber, making out, and then it gets aggressive again, and a girl walking by goes up to the girl and says, "Are you all right? Are you oh, okay?" Christ. Like has to do her own check in. Right. 
That's the second one within 10 minutes, five minutes. And then he started having some too. And I started fucking talking some shit to him. Like you're fucking asshole, dude. Like chill the fuck out, bro. You're a fucking asshole. Fucking chill the fuck out. (laughs) That's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Chirping back again. I mean, was he, was he ready for chirping? I was like, is this going to have to happen again? Like, dude, I'm getting in my fucking Uber, but like chill the fuck out, bro. Like what a piece of shit. I, I mean, anyone who hits women or kids fucking deserves a cap in the fucking head. Mm. Pussies, dude. Huge fucking pussies. Um, okay, one... Want... Uh, go on. No, I mean, I was just going to say, maybe you'll like this, but what my gender studies teacher would probably say is that, you know... She deserved if... it? Huh? What? She deserved that... it? they no 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 um no not that they deserved it but <laughs> but that that beating up anyone who is weaker than you or unable to protect themselves is wrong we don't have to make it a gag girl thing what do you think about nah, that that's that's false that's like saying you can't punch down in comedy what if that guy's being a little piece of shit what if the guy who's weaker than you hit a girl then you can't do anything because he fucking is weaker than you that's that's stupid your teacher needs to go check themselves Whoa. needs to get their ass fucking it was handed. hypothetical it was hypothetical i know I, so I, said it. I said it i said it well all right you need your ass handed to you what <laughs> it's an idea uh, throwing it out there my boy well i i get what you mean though but i feel like it's the same thing as like the punching down it's like isn't it more disrespectful to to think that they're not an equal or lesser like at what point does weaker mean you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah. But I feel like what you're saying right there kind of does play into the point. How so? Because you're saying, like, to not punch down on them is actually, like, a sign that it's like, oh, are they different or lesser or whatever. But then you're saying to not punch down on women. Yeah, but they're... Just exploring they're not, it. Just exploring it. They're, they're not... I, we can go down this whole biology thing. Yeah, no. And eh, wrong. Fuck that. I didn't even say anything. I was just asking questions. But and you put me in a hole. I like it. That's what this is all about. <laughs> made me dig my own grave. And I'm trying to go. Me. I'm trying to go Rogan a little bit. You know, I'm trying to go a little oh, Rogan I, on us. I love it. I do. Just a couple uh, of people don't know what they're talking about. Trying to talk about something. I couldn't have said it better myself. Just regurgitating information. I don't even know <laughs> what it means, baby. Yeah, yeah, uh, I heard. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a second Sandlot reference today. Um, oh, one other thing I was thinking of before we get into our fast food draft, which I got. Okay, well, Jim, actually, I, I may have another topic. Wow, you would put me on the ropes like this. That I want to put you on the ropes with, depending on a certain question. And that question is, will this be the last episode we record before Christmas? No, no, no. I, I like what we're doing every other week. I, I okay. feel like this is a good trend right now. Um, okay, fast food it is. Yeah, because I wanted to do a, a Christmas slash Hanukkah style draft as yes. well. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking, okay, so you know how this is just one of those ideas that came to me and I was like, I got to gotta bring it up. Frozen food companies, they always give you the microwave time of things. But they never tell you what microwave they use. Wouldn't it make sense to like all get on board? And I know there would be a, a monopoly on microwaves by one company, but wouldn't it make sense to know what fucking microwave they use? So my fucking food is right the first time. I'm a big frozen food guy, and god damn it, does it suck having to burn my mouth or shit be frozen? Honestly, I hope someone from Amazon is listening to this. Let's send this up the ladder to Bezos. Tell him. You make your whole foods frozen food and you make it directly designed for your Amazon microwave. Done. Monopoly's Perfect. already in place, my boy. We don't even need we don't even need a new one. We that got that so covered. A to Z. You hear that CIA agent that's listening to me? Take that. <laughs> Take it and run. Make your millions. God. Oh, that's and all lucky you for getting assigned to this, man. For real. You CIA <sighs> agent that's listening what a to job. this. Like you could be listening to so much worse shit, and I respect it. Same time, he could be listening to so much better shit too. Ah, <laughs> there's always that. 
That's okay. Fuck them, pussy. Um, okay, well, let's get into the draft. Um, how did you want to decide who goes first today? Is there... I believe that you went first, then I went first. So you go first. Oof. Okay. And, and is- parameters. Let's. We got to intro it. I think you could take the reins this week. Well, you don't did, want you me wanna, to. did you want to stick with the fast food? You said Correct. you. Okay. Oh, because we're getting the Christmas. Uh, okay. So we're doing a draft this week and we're going to draft our top fast food restaurants once one has been chosen it is off the board to not be chosen again um and then did you want to throw any extra stipulations on this did correct you make- yes okay so, so and you, we can work this out together on the spot here but i think uh-huh. if you've ever seen it with a drive through okay it is fast food That's... and if you've never seen it with a drive through it's not fast food. Is that cool? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like that covers a lot of those fast, fast casual. Is that what they call them? Like, like I for mean, me, and maybe you have seen it with the drive through, but like, is Chipotle fast food? I was, that was the one I was going to use. I have seen one in Arizona with the, with the drive through, but I, that doesn't make my list anyways. I'm sticking with the classics. All right. I'm going to take it off my list. Unless okay. It's you have it on there. I, I'm fully eligible. Comp- yeah, that's fine. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's not going to hold right. a candle to this. I. Okay. Well, let's start. Dun, 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 dun. I don't hear the dun, dun, by the way. 2022 fast food draft. Did you hear him there? Nope. You serious? I didn't oh, mean that. I mean, let's just pretend no, like no, I hear no. No. Negative. You hate to see that. Absolutely. Um, all with the first pick of the 2022 fast food draft. Jimmy Riley Slicks. McDonald's. (sighs) No way. The dog. Good for you, man. I had to do it. That's I was raised on McDonald's. I mean I can't even remember getting Happy Meals. I've been eating Big Macs since my memory serves me. I just have to. It's a classic. And now I wanted to do a separate ranking on this draft real quick, just for all the fans out there of the best Cokes of all time. McDonald's got the best Coke of all time. Not even a question. Chad Ochocinco agrees. All right. Unfortunately, they just raised their price 20 cents on it. Hate Mm -hmm. to see that. You know, my business teacher told me McDonald's isn't a hamburger business. It's a soda business. Did they really say that? That's pretty good. I, they literally make so much money off their drinks. They said more than that. They broke the whole thing down. They're like, how much do you think it costs them to fucking get that piece of meat onto the burger? You know, and how much do you think it costs for the buns? And how much do you think it costs for all this shit? And then he's like, how much do you think it costs for their fucking soda? And if they're selling a soda with every single burger that's where they make their profit right there um damn that's a hell of a good point um mcdonald's coke mexican coke chipotle coke Jigs. they make a list no well chipotle not- coke well you, it's great that you say that because chipotle coke is actually mcdonald's coke because it's a mcdonald's company potentially really? i'm not i can't Did, verify yeah. the coke. no it is a mcdonald's company but i can't verify the coke I, I I believe it because it is some damn good Coke. It tastes a little bit different from the Don's, but uh, yeah. Then you got the red can Santa cans coming up on those coming out. Those are fantastic. And then just a simple leader. No, no, none of that. Cherry Coke or fucking fuck your mother. No vanilla. <laughs> so McDonald's uh, is classic because you and I on our way home from Bianza have gotten many uh chicken sandwiches Big, gang, gang, Big Mac sandwiches yes you name it and that's the thing with McDonald's it's nostalgic hack, exactly and you can hack their menu better than any other place I feel like like so many mm. things together it's not like like Taco Bell you can't fucking do shit yeah. with Taco Bell, but not to mention 
Standalone fries, best fries. Arguably, arguably, out of anything on this list, best fries standalone. But I'll ring the bell. Bet. Actually, never mind. But yeah, no, I mean, ring the bell. So I thought you were going to take one of these two choices here. I won't say both of them. But now I'm in a tough spot because I don't know which one I want more. But in my heart of hearts, I know that I can't let you have this one. And this one is Chick-fil-A. Wow. Okay, that's on the list. Chick-fil-A, give me the Chick-fil-A sauce. My order was a spicy chicken sandwich with pepper jack cheese, two large fries, and a side of mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, yeah, I know. I know, right? Holy hell. Yeah. And that's all like 15 bucks. That's it, yeah. Good price. <laughs> like it's, If you get it's... in the meal, the meal's like nine bucks, something like that, a large meal. Pretty good. Right. Um. But like we were saying about McDonald's fries, Chick-fil-A sauce, I think is hands down the best in the game. That's one thing none of these fast foods have. I mean, we all know that there's a certain fast food joint out there that shall remain, remain nameless that has a very special ranch. That's J- but... J-Bo. We all know J-Bo. Buttermilk, We all baby. know J-Bo. But, uh, but yeah, uh, Chick-fil-A. Wow. Side note, my mom would never let me eat there as a child. That or Carl's Jr. Why Carl's Jr.? Did they have the same same sort I don't of views? Know. I don't know if it's the same. Well, I mean, I know, I'm not sure about how Carl's Jr. feels about the gays, but I know how they feel about Planned Parenthood, which my mom fucking uh, don't make sense. Um, love you, mom. Love you, mom. <laughs> <Love> you, mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> here's that bus uh here's the license plate of that bus <laughs> love you mom um now funny story about chick-fil-a the first one opened around here in milpitas and god i forget how old i was probably freshman year um and me and mitch revisa walked in holding hands and we held our hands up to like to the staff to show them all <laughs> and we uh who was it? i think a guy behind us in line like walks in and goes hey i'd be careful lad. they don't like that stuff around here <laughs> like, oh, brother I, it's not that deep it was a joke just uh, a chicken sando just a chicken sando my boy classic though um chick-fil-a wow and so now that you went chick-fil-a i think i gotta go the the burger of Chick Fil A, which should be In and Out. Ah, I've got the hit wow. The do, do, do. Is that, that the other hurts, one? You Jim. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that you're a fucking shark when it comes to this fucking draft. This was right in your fucking wheelhouse, and I should have known not to fucking play with you on this. But now you have the two best fries available. You have McDonald's ah. normal fries, and you have In and Out animal fries. I'm and so, if I may, if I may, when it comes to the debate about In and Out, the chink in the armor has always been the fries, because the fries whoa, are always. What'd you just call them? Fries. Did you just call them a chink? Come on, in man. We're better than that here. Oh, We're better than that. Here. Oh man, he stopped the whole pod <laughs> for the call out. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to get it faster. <laughs> I, was like, no, I had no idea where you were at. Fry, yeah, yes, fries. the fries are trash, right? But No. Oh, I thought you were going to say the opposite. I'm a no, big... In out, normal fries are probably like 10th on the list of fast food fries. But if you put animal fries on them, they're number one, in my opinion. That is true. I think they're number two on my list, right behind McDonald's fries, honestly. Including animal style. I I think they get the bump, but McDonald's fries are still better. Even even when they're animal style. Um, yeah. But they just, they just sure. taste so fresh. I mean, just a little bit of salt. God mm. damn. Big All fan. Right. All right. Hey, who's going to love this one? I hear it now. I hear now. Fire. Um, Subway. Wow. Give me Subway. Yeah. So we used to go on road trips in the summer times. We just go through the middle of the country, Idaho, 
Montana, South Dakota, Kansas, Missouri. You know, we're talking glorious land out there. And the most popular and most the one you would see the most often was fast food was subway subway silently dominates the fast food in america and it's a steal that i got him in a second that is a steal subway is another place that we frequented and frequented a ton growing up because there was one right on fox where we ride our bikes to go get subway um that is quite the steal. That good bang for your buck. You can do the mix and matches. Hear me out. Really cool. Subway, when it comes to structural integrity of their food, is the in and out of sandwich spots. A Subway sandwich always holds its integrity. It's not crumbling on you. It's not falling apart. It's right where it needs to be. When you get to Togo's, when you get to Jimmy John's, do not slander Togos. Don't do this. I'm just saying. That, I mean, they'll put more in there, but is the integrity there? No, it's definitely not. I, I know what you mean by that. Like, you can actually hold a Subway sandwich and just fucking eat it. And it, yes. it like a chicken bacon ranch, the best thing Subway's got. Yeah, I mean, make red just, plastic everywhere, man. That's funny you say that. I think it was Ireland tried to get a... Uh, <laughs> tried to get a subsidy on their taxes by claiming that subway was actually a pastry and not a not a bread because of how much sugar they fucking put in it yeah crazy whole wheat baby it's still it's bad good. but i go whole wheat oh i go whole wheat too that's the way to go that oof. or uh what's the italian urban chi mm. give it to me. dirty to me pause <laughs> Jinx. You owe me a Coke. I, I should have suspected you as a pedophile lover. So Subway just right in your wheelhouse. You first with the gaze at Chick-fil-A, now the pedophile. Papadakis, a... yeah. Oh. Fuck that guy. Too soon. Never. Fuck that guy. He doesn't deserve to be on this podcast. That's true. I'm gonna bleep his name. Bleep it. Um Papa D. <laughs> <laughs> let's see who else oh okay so i don't know where to go from here i got a couple I'm running out of options too but i think another one that you see across the midwest um it's not as popular here but a place that i love sonic mm -hmm. and now it's it's does not sonic really... have a drive through what are you talking I'm giving about it to you for sure but does it Every single Sonic has a drive through and drive ups. So that's like okay, okay, okay. I know the drive ups is so iconic. I thought that's all they do. Yeah. Oh no, they have the drive through too, and they have like a cheap soda, like McDonald's, a nice Route Forty Four for like two bucks. I mean, mm. you really can't beat it. Slushies, they got it, got it all. Breakfast, mm. lunch, dinner. Mm. Sonic, you got to make you know, the drive. You've talked about Coke so many times. I feel like I've been remiss to not tell you that Coke is not even a top three soda. In my opinion. And I'm, I'm no soda lover, but it's definitely Dr. Pepper 1, Pepsi 2, and Sprite 3. I, if I, I guarantee if I give you Coke and Pepsi, one, you wouldn't be able to tell me which is which. And two, yes, I would. It's better. And I would no, choose you... Pepsi. No. All right, bet that it's... then. You want to put... I will. put your... Put your money where your mouth is. What do you want to do? Speaking of, there, I just watched a sick documentary. It's called Pepsi, Where's My Jet? And this okay. guy, back, back in the 90s, Pepsi did Pepsi points. And it's like you could turn in cans for points. And then out of nowhere, they said you could buy the points. So this guy schemed up and bought like, I think it was like 32 million points or something like that. I don't know. He pretty much spent like, Seventy thousand dollars to buy a Harrier jet when they cost thirty-two million bucks. Crazy. Took him to to court. Didn't end up getting the jet, but it's like a one of those cases in contract law that like everyone goes over. So I'm pretty sure Matty T had like reviewed the case and shit like that on his way to becoming a lawyer. Shout That's out, sick. by the way. Shout out, Matty T, man. Get out of jail free card right there. I don't know about that. I just got a ticket <laughs> fucking two days ago. Yeah. Going 10 over on 280. I got a fucking ticket. Nah. It's because you were in the uh, left lane, huh? No. I was no? I was 
I was in the second to left at that's 630. dirty. At six thirty, no one on the road. Oh my and god! I, He's like, let me get I a good start there. to my day, bro. Good I was news. so mad. Like I, it was one of those where I was like, I couldn't even like get frustrated. I was like, yeah, give me the ticket. This is what we're gonna do. Give me the fucking ticket, you piece of shit. In the middle I lane, my, I have my Blue Lives Matter keychain and everything. He just fucking. Oh my right god! The time I fucking take that off. Oh my mean. god! Sheriff's badge, sheriff sticker on the license plate. I used to have that. That was a, <laughs> that was a money call. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, blue, the blue lives matter air freshener. Just keep it in here. Fuck it. Exactly. That's <laughs> I, have. I have the key rings. So when they come over on the passenger side and look in, it's the first thing they see. And I'm like, bro, uh, I'm one of you. I support back the blue. Come brother. on, man. Back the blue. They don't know. Um, but. You're you're crazy saying Coke's not a top three. It's Coke, Cherry Coke, Cherry Vanilla Coke in that order. <laughs> I don't want to hear any fucking questions. Um, okay, Sonic, what's uh, what's Back your next? Back to me. Yeah, I'm, gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it chalk here. I'm just gonna go uh, Chipotle. Wow. Now he said that he saw the drive, the drive through. Uh-huh. I've never, I've never seen it, but I do believe it. Because it is fast food, and it's the highest quality fast food. Maybe I, I'll give you that. I I feel like across the board they use the highest quality ingredients. You're getting shit always tastes good. It always somewhat fresh. I mean, my cousin you, worked there. She claimed it was always fresh. I don't know if I can trust her. But. That's what they say in all the commercials. You could get the new like full nutrients. You get your macros in there. You know what I mean? And they have plant-based options for our Josh Landers of the world. 100%. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why Chipotle was huge for me. Because you know me, I'm on the vegan junk food diet. I'm not on the, I'm not on the whole foods plant-based diet quite yet. So Chipotle was huge for me. Carried the day for me. You get the, you get guac free if you don't get any meat, you know, so. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. I had no yeah. idea. And it's cheaper. In total, I'm out there under ten bucks, I think, but I get chips, so that's. But it it all evens out in the end. I feel like you pay pretty much, probably still less than what I pay getting steak. Mm, probably, but, but yeah, Chipotle I, carries me. I could eat it every day without getting sick to my stomach, and I don't think I could say that about most things on this list. So Chipotle, Chipotle, and that's very true. You could eat it every day and eat something new every day too. Endless combos at Chipotle. I just had yeah. awesome tacos. Yeah, right. fucking so good. Burritos. I used to mix it up with the burritos and the bowls. Chipotle was now, another big one for me at Danza. Yeah, when you do Nostalgic. burrito, do you get double wrapped? Nah, I mean I have, but nah. That's my go-to. I feel like yeah. that extra tortilla adds like five pounds to the burrito. I don't know why. It definitely um, does. Okay, so let's see. Wow, there's some some killers left on the charts. Um, wow, I wish I had a chart. You got to come prepare, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hit the tones. Don't take my pick. With the fourth pick. Of his 2022 fast food draft. Don't do it. James Hobby Riley selects Don't do it. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, yes. Go <sighs> ahead. Take that second class chicken. I got Chick-fil-A. I'm lacking oh in the burgers God. right now. I don't have a burger on my, on my shit, but good pick, though. Good um, pick. And I'll tell you why KFC. That's... There's nothing better than mashed potatoes and gravy. It takes us back to the Thanksgiving conversation before. If they would just only microwave it like half as long so it doesn't fucking burn my throat like hell. I mean, it's the worst burn ever. Spoonful of gravy down the gullet. It sucks. If they would microwave half the time, it would it probably would have slid into the second slot. That's how much yeah. of a cancer fan I am. Yeah. And so I think we should add this for the rest of the draft. I think we got to say our order at each fast food place. As I they was go. thinking that and I just totally, totally forgot. So for me, it would be the snackers. Maybe like five of them. 
Ooh, okay. From KFC. I and so, potato wedges and mashed potatoes. Yeah. That's uh I'll go their their famous KFC bowl. Mm. Stuff about it. Just it's got everything. It's got the mashed potatoes, gravy, mm. chicken, corn, rice. No, not rice. Cheese. I eat that a lot. They were cheap too. That's another one. Five bucks out the door, and you're freaking got a full I, tummy. After after Hebrew school, I would on our way there was a uh kfc slash a and w root beer, root beer collab wow that, that, so, that used to be this spot i didn't know if i could co- combine the two but a and w is another one on my list and there's nothing better than like a root beer float from a and w out of mm. a chill mug that's what i would get that's what i would get and snackers that's what i would get exactly oh okay. good it is like incredible well uh, is that the one on bascom mm-hmm yeah um where was your your jewish school like saratoga i think well like when i was younger it was beth david which is like if you keep on going down what does that turn into hamilton Mm -hmm. you go hamilton just keep going forever like past prospect high like that's like all the way yeah okay i think all the way down there and then the other one was like in los gatos by bas- like, like doctor's office huh is it kind of look like a doctor's office yeah. The building yeah okay i was gonna say i pass by that one so often i think i know yes. that one. Yes, yeah yeah that's the one um legend but uh but yeah root beer floats and snackers all day fuck so good um all right let me let me hit the tones for you At BK, have, have it, it your way. way, dude. You rule. I almost chose them commercials alone. Best commercials in the game, bar none. I, dude, they're going crazy these days. I'll give me the chicken fries, twelve piece with the fries, and give me uh buffalo sauce with my chicken fries. Ooh, they do buffalo sauce there. I never knew that. Oh yeah. Damn, I'm honestly BK. I'm just a chicken fry kind of guy. Yeah, just load absolutely. up, load up on the chicken fries. But uh, I mean, some say the Whopper is better than not the Big Mac, but like a but, but like a cheeseburger. Yeah, because they're charbroiled too. I mean, that's like their claim to fame, isn't it? Or is right. that Carl's Jr.? I think no, it's exactly. Um, no, it's Charles. All the commercials have the char, the char, the the char broil. What um, is it? Char broil. Char. Char, char, char jar beings. Um, nah, but it's honestly like a really good burger, especially you can do the double, triple whoppers. Ooh, tomato and lettuce on there, too. Yes, sir. And that's the thing. Like, I'm a big jack in the box guy, but their tomato and lettuce is fucking foul. It's right. so bad. Carl's Jr., actually, it's like, oh, I'm eating vegetables. Like, this isn't all fruit yeah. and vegetable, I guess. This isn't horrible. Uh um, good fries at BK too. I like good fries. fries. That's a good burger too. You got a burger on your list now. That's nice. Yeah. The Burger King. The Burger King. The BK Lounge. Um Remember the t shirt I used to wear? No. I I uh Aaron Haley's dad gave me a Burger King like employee. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Button <That>, up. <laughs> wow, Aaron Haley's dad. That guy was a legend. When I would be one year older than Aaron Haley umpiring his games when I was in majors and he was in double A. <laughs> fucking chump. <laughs> Sorry you guys you for motorcycle listening. Now. So I know sick. he's sick and he works out like T Pags. They're both jacked. Yeah. But his dad would bring the ICs. Oh, there was like no better gift after umpiring a game than a, a nice BK Icy. Oh my God. Forgot about the ICs. You're Pledge. so right. Pledge. Um, Okay, BK, I like that. And, wow, I'm so torn between my last one. Like, I don't know what to do. We're on to final picks here? I Well, five. How many do you want to do? No, five, yeah. yeah no, okay. it, that happened fast. Yeah, right? It's deep. It's deep. It is. That's what I mean. There's so many. We'll have to go an honorable mention. All right. um, okay, let me hit the tones. Boom. Wow. And with the final pick, oh, God. It depends. How white trash do I want to go? That's my question. Uh, this is tough. With my final pick of the 2022 Bass 
food draft. I am selecting Weiner Schnitz. Wiener Schnitzel out of Germany. Give me the hot dogs, baby. Wow. Kobayashi style. Wow. Wiener Schnitzel. And I'll tell you why. There's nothing I like more than a fucking boiled hot dog. I think that's Lincoln Glenn coming back at me. A boiled hot dog wrapped in foil. I just, you can't beat it. I'll go chew. Are you ketchup and mustard or well, just mustard? or No, no start. I'm not a mustard fan. Um, but I'll go like three chili cheese dogs and then three just all ketchup dogs. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. My Lord. There's nothing better. Sounds good. Oh, it's, I'm telling you, man, if you haven't been there in a while, you brush up on that wiener schnitzel, there's... Very few things better. The brushing up, brushing up on the schnitz. They they actually just tweeted back to me too. I mean, I'm. Just, you get a drive through right the right through the schnitzer house. That's exactly, the that's the sickest part. And that attic connects up top. You can go top to bottom through over the overpass. I, I mean, didn't know that. Doesn't get cooler. Best building. I've never been inside a wiener schnitzel. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a wiener schnitzel to be honest. Maybe once. What'd you say? Uh, I haven't had wiener schnitzel. I mean, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because you suck or I. I that's Bad just, parenting. Bad parenting. Chalk it up to that. I like that. That's fair. Chalk it up. Well, next All time right. you're home, I'll, my treat. <laughs> my treat. All right, well, I guess I have to pick this guy with my last pick here. Let me hit the tone real quick. Of course. And since it is the last pick, I get to talk about all my options. I know we do have honorable mentions, yes, but yes, yes. I think I can let kind of talk. Yep. Let me, let me talk through it. So, so right now I'm choosing between three things primarily. What I think I will end up choosing is Jack in the Box, curly fries, ranch, chicken sandwich, no lettuce, extra mayo. It's just yeah. been too good to me over the years not to get them on the roster here. And that's kind of what um, I was feeling then, too. Jack in the box. I don't. I feel bad them not making my list because I've just we've been there so often. They've always late night runs. They're always there for us, you know. Always. And then I'm looking at something which has great fries, great chicken strips. We're talking Popeyes. Ooh, I don't think I've ever now, had Popeyes, fries from Popeyes. If you're, oh man, they're like Cajun fries and they got it all. I think they might even have mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. It's one of those type of spots. Um, so there's that. And then the third one, which is kind of sneaky and I wouldn't feel right picking it because I only had it like maybe once would be White Castle. Ah, uh, White Castle. I, I don't think I've ever actually had at the restaurant. I've had like the the ones you yeah. make in your oven. But I think they're like the oldest fast food restaurant ever. I think. All right, I'm sold. Oldest fast food restaurant ever, White Castle. Give me about yeah. 50 of those mini burgers. Wow, White Castle. So Harold for, and Kumar style. Right? I, I forgot who said it, but you show up with a briefcase full of fucking White Castle burgers. You are the hero of the party. I mean, there's nothing better. I do they have any around you guys down there? Not that I know of. I'm gonna look it up right now because now that we're talking about it, right? It might be one of those Harold Kumar. I was nights. gonna say, are we gonna make make the journey? Find Neil Patrick Harris along the way. Um, underrated wow. actor, that guy. I oh think yeah, Vegas is the closest. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I was going to say, I don't think I've ever seen one in the wild. I've just had, like, smart and final, you buy the freaking huge case of Berg's. Uh, wow, I like that. And I feel like you can eat, like, 50 of those if they're fresh. You could really just crush. Yeah, there's one in uh, Sacramento, I guess. Really? How have we never hit that driving to Reno? It's crazy. I'm writing that down. Sac. Um, Elk Grove. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Probably driven by it a thousand times. 
Um, shoot, I like that a lot. That's a good list. All right, so I'll go over the list before we talk honorable mentions. For sure. Um, and let's so, do orders. Okay, yeah. So mine, uh, start off, McDonald's, number one. I'm getting a large number one, no pickles or onions, extra mac sauce with the Coke. Shout out. Every time, all the time. The only time I change this up is when the the McD apps running the two for one Big Macs and your boys dropping those fries like a bad habit and crushing two big measers. Mm. God, I sound like a fat fuck. No, nah, it's the best, dude. Number one, no pickles, extra Mac. Wow. Um, I'm a chicken sando, uh, with Mac sauce. Maybe I'll add some cheese on there if I'm feeling frisky. Probably should. Now, is this the the new chicken sando or a mick chicken? A mick chicken. What's the new one? A mick chicken. Oh, they have a new. Give me sweet. Sandwich. Give me sweet and sour sauce with that. Ooh, okay. And and give me a large blue power in. Blue power. So that's my other one. If I'm coming off a workout and I'm I'm looking for a refuel, I I wash down the Big Mac with the Powerade. Yeah. You know how it is. <sighs> yeah. And then we go to Chick Fil A, and I already mentioned my order earlier, but spicy chicken sandwich, pepper jack cheese, side of mac and cheese, two large fries, and two large waters. Two large waters. Are you? Eating in a speed competition? What are those for? Are you dunking it, Kobayash? Well, so when I would go to Chick Fil A, I would oftentimes be how do you say, fried, Sp- sparked up. Yeah, I was yeah. high. You hit the books. I was hitting the books it's hard, man. And so I would always drink one. By the time I get home, you know me. I'm a water lover. You are. You've always been the big water guy. That's- if it's around me, I'm drinking it. And that's the difference between you and me. When you get a water cup, you put water in it. When I get a water cup, my Coke identifies as a water. So it's, <laughs> that's that's where we stand. Um, I love that. I just did that at Chipotle, and I just the person was watching me do it, and I just looked up right now. I'm not playing games. Say something. Say something. Um, but Chick Fil A order. I'm going. I don't know what number it is. Spicy chicken sandwich meal, but bacon added large with the Coke. Got to be Chick-fil-A best ice in the game too. Used to be which, which mm. same, same sort of deal, but that ice will last a lifetime. Nothing better. Mm-hmm. Um, in and out. In and out. Getting two double doubles, no onions with a Coke. <laughs> we'll shut down. Um, Sometimes I try to do the Chad Mills thing. If I'm going through the drive-thru, I'll see uh, if they have any milkshakes that haven't been given out. Or I'll ask for a sample. Chad always used to go, can I can I sample the Neapolitan shake? <laughs> and they would just hand him a small cup. They're like, Jesus, yeah, take it, dude. No, or there was always the classic, can I just have my milkshake while I wait? Exactly. It was a vanilla, a medium vanilla. They're like, oh, do you have can your I receipt? Can I have my medium vanilla? I don't know where uh, it's at. I think I tossed it. Oh, you're going to have to wait. No, nah, come on. Just give no, me the but, uh, How about you? For me, two cheeseburgers um, with grilled onions, animal-style fries, and a vanilla milkshake. Maybe half vanilla, half strawberry. Ooh, they do have their strawberries really good there. Mm-hmm. It's like the only place you can get it and trust it. Um, okay, how about Subway. What are we getting from Subway? Subway, I used to be a big meatball marinara guy. Um, but now I'm fucking veggie patty, fucking avocado, cucumber, tomato, onion, lettuce, spinach, pepperoncinis, fucking salt and vin, Ooh. pepper. What's uh, that uh, fucking... sweet sauce they put on it? Do you put some of that? It's like the... Maybe. I forget what it's called. They put it on like their chicken breast sandwich. But that shit is like... Maybe. The most fire sauce out of any fast... It smacks. There you go. Say Maybe I'll go buffalo sauce some days. Like the um, sauces just all depend on what I'm feeling that day. Yeah. I, I like that. I feel like... Uh, Subway's got a good ranch too. I know we were talking about Jack and Box's ranch. Subway's mm. also got a good ranch. And mm. that's what I get. A little chicken bacon ranch. No produce, just chicken, bacon, ranch, cheese, baby. Toasted. Toasted. Oh, big toast. 
toes. Big toes. Big toes. Now, did you <laughs> like Quiznos toast better or Subway's toasted better? Uh, I feel I like mean, Quiznos over. I, I never like Quiznos ever. Ooh, I was a big. But it was a vibe though. It was for like, dude, that like three year span Quiznos was the shit. Um, yeah, but I got an OTPHJ Quiznos when I was like in third grade. It was sick. From who? <laughs> <laughs> From the Quiznos employee. <laughs> I think you got raped, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, on the plate, half baked. You don't remember that? Nope. OTPHJ? The on the plate half baked sandwich? <laughs> no. Where is that uh, from? The OTPHJ. I got an OTPHJ at Quiznos. Yeah, you're losing me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about now. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you don't want to know. All I know is the RHJ in the backyard. That's all. <laughs> that's the only J I know of. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, what, good. what was next? Um, Chipotle. No, Sonic. Sonic's next. Sonic, though, is one of those things. I don't have a set order at Sonic. I just kind of... If it's breakfast, I'm getting French toast. If it's later in the day, I kind of just mix it up. So I'm not not too concerned about the Sonic orders. I always wash down with the Route 44 Coke, though. Money. Nice. Um, but Chipotle. Chip- yeah. Uh, half, half uh, what do they call it? So free toast. Whole, whole, whole grain rice? Is oh, that yeah. how they call it? Yeah. yeah. Half white rice, half brown rice. That's what they call it. Brown rice. Brown rice, yeah. <laughs> but I knew you meant. Half, <laughs> half extra rice, half white, half brown, pinto beans, um, pico de gallo, medium, hot on the side, light corn, avocado, light lettuce, side of chips. Now, why light lettuce? Just they just stuff too much when you don't say it. Yeah, like I don't need. I just I want it to be in there. A couple bites, a little crunch, but a little fill. I'm not too, here. Yeah. I don't want lettuce on every bite. It's I definitely don't want to work. Salad I don't want to work through hell of lettuce to get to my shit. You know how many times I've had to fucking pull lettuce out of a burrito because there's too much. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like that. I'm. I would go same way though. I go. Burrito, double wrapped, extra white rice, pinto beans, half chicken, half steak. And there's nothing better when they go half chicken, half steak, but go full scoop on both. I mean, oh, bless your bless your little heart, Chipotle workers. Uh, half chicken, half steak, medium cheese, and then hot sauce on the side. Dude, is it just me or did the hot sauce get like incrementally spicier? Like the last year. I mean, it's like almost inedible now. It probably did. I used to get it in the burrito and it's like, I can't anymore. Yeah. I got to be able to portion myself. Yeah. Um. Okay. And I think we went over the KFC, BK. What are you getting from Wiener Schnitzel? When we go, what, what are you getting? Can I get a water cup? Oh, you're such a piece of shit. You're a piece. Uh, I don't even know what they have. I'll Give me tater for tots. You. They got tots. Yeah. They got corn. Best corn dogs in the game. Corn dog. Mini corn, dog cor- my corn, corn dogs, dog is Jackie. My for all these people. Corn dogs and tots. That's perfect. That's all you need. Um, sweet. Um, and then I didn't have any bets this week. I hit the uh, Panthers in the under at uh, thirty six. Thanks, Book Meek, for your Broncos. You fucking. Trash. What were my picks last week? Um, I have them written down. I can definitely tell you. Um, do do do. Did we go money line parlay? Bills, Eagles, Rams is what oh. we did. Oh, Bills got it. Eagles, Rams. I think is where we lost it. Because uh, I had I had a couple parlays hanging on the limbs with the Rams. This was two weeks ago. So yeah, I think. I think they lost. Um, well, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was two weeks ago because we had one in the middle. Um, but, yeah, we had – I had three parlays hanging up on the limbs of the Ram. I had the Puig parlay where I had the Rams, yours, and then another one I think I had on them as well, and they f- 
second lost it. That's okay. Can't win if you don't play. Can't win if you don't play. But um, did you have any bets this week that you wanted to uh, wanted to throw out? I, I haven't really given it any looks, just because I felt like staying away from football. But just stay away right now. Yeah, that's kind of weak. It is. Um, okay, well, my brother, thank you for doing this. That's another one in the books. Another one in the books. You took the words out of my mouth. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, this will come out this week. And then I got to bank another one with Boog and Kev for next week. But um, again, as always, I appreciate you doing this, my dude. And until next time, peace. Arrivederci.